hey, it's Rocky, the funny guy. And I happen to be in Colorado today, next to this really loud brook or creek or river or whatever you want to call it. So hopefully you can hear me. Stopped at the little store just down the way here and found some bumblebees, skinless, boneless, smoked trout fillets. I've only tried these uh, different brands a few times before. It's always amazing, but anytime you smoke, anything is good, especially when it's smoked trout or salmon. This is a product of Turkey. I was a little surprised to find that. I thought these would be farm raised somewhere in North America, but product of Turkey. What does it got on here? Anything that's interesting? 150 calories when you drain it. That's about it. Farm raised, of course. $5.98. I think it's about comparable to what back to my hometown. So I thought it'd be really expensive up here, but it's not. So, comes in a nice little gift box. I always love that. Let's have a go and see what it looks like. Ah, the nice golden tin. Best by March 2025. We've still got a couple years. But, you know me, that doesn't really matter. Typical opener. Give it a shot. Be really careful. It doesn't matter out here if I drip or get a little messy. You just let the bears come eat it. Wow. Look at that. I'm going to stable myself a little bit here. I think I'll pour a little excess. I'm sure the bears will appreciate that. They're really packed in there tight. You got to be careful lifting them out. Next book, The Lay of Trout, Smoke. I think there's too much Colorado fresh air out here. I can't smell them at all. You really don't need a cracker on these because there's no bones, no skin. Just pure meat. Actually a little dry. Maybe I should have kept some of that canola oil in there to keep it a little moisture. A little dry. Well, maybe that's from Turkey. They're made in Turkey. Turkey quite often is dry if you don't roast it, right? You can see it comes out of the can a little bit rough like that. I think I just lost something. Windy out here, not to mention noisy. Comes a little rough. They are packed together, probably been in there a while. Not a lot of smoke, mostly just fillets. So 
I'm going to try a jump without the cracker. That's very mild fish. That's very mild trout. I'm telling you, there's not a lot of flavor like you normally would get in a smoked fish here in the U.S. Or in smoked oysters or something like that. This is really plain, basic fish. If you don't like fishy stuff, or if you know somebody who's always complaining when you're eating fishy stuff, let them try some of this. They can't complain about it. Well, there you have it. Bumblebee smoked trout. Not much smoke, but there's no skin, no scales, no skeleton. You don't have to worry about any of that finny stuff. No wild taste. So if you really would like to eat fish, but you don't like fishiness, you want something mild, I would have to say you can't get much better than this right here. Bumblebee smoked trout. Give it a try. You don't have to go to Colorado to test it. Thanks for watching.